All right. Welcome back, everybody. New episode, episode four, I believe. And this is different. We're trying something new today. This is going to be interview format. Welcome back to 10 Minutes on Brand Awareness. Every episode, we try to answer one question and one answer for it. And today, we are in the presence of greatness in the design, digital, and branding space. <laughs> this guy joining us today has done a ton of brands. What I mean by done a ton of brands. Designed them, built them, launched them, art directed for them. My goodness, he even has his own children's clothing brand? Children's Is that brand. what you call it? A children's clothing line and a little restaurant. And a restaurant <laughs> and He's worked with brands that you may probably know, household names such as Adidas, Nike, the Jordan brand, and the list goes on. AJ, welcome to the show. Yo, thanks for having me. You're welcome, and I should be the one really thanking you. If you must know, AJ and I have been trying to do different things. We've been talking shop. So today, we're here, and we're going to try and define something that is heard all the time, but it's often misunderstood. Jay, today we're here to get one of the stronger definitions of this word that has a great many, many, many definitions and descriptions from different people. Everybody has their own take. Today, it's going to be your take, and we're excited about it. So Jay, tell wow. us, what is a brand? What is a brand? It's yeah. good that you kind of asked me that already previously. I didn't know what a brand was, to be honest. Even as a designer, I had no formal schooling in design. I had no formal schooling in marketing or any of those things. Maybe the first experience of a brand for me was through logos. You know, as everybody else, I would think, I thought, you know, a logo is a brand. I don't know if you watched Roadrunner as a kid, and there was oh. there's there's Coyote, right? There was a company that would send him all these Acme, Acme Inc. or something like that, <laughs> and they would send all this stuff to try to trap the Roadrunner, and that yeah. was like, whoa, that's a that's a cool name. I didn't know that was a logo. The swoosh really had an impact on me because of Michael Jordan discovering what Nike was all about through the sneakers and Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan wearing the pair of sneakers. Didn't really know what the brand was until probably having worked in an ad agency. Fast forward to 2003 from the 80s. And I worked for a company named Ogilvy and David Ogilvy is a legend. And it's all the intangible things around a product. That's how I interpreted the brand. But to me, a brand really is like a set of emotions that you feel towards a certain product or company. And it exists in the mind and the heart of a consumer. So if I have an emotional relationship with a product or a brand, I live in that brand essentially. And I don't feel the same way with any other product or maybe a few other products or any other brands. I think the same way people live in the brand of Apple, basically it's a cult. <laughs> it's a cult <laughs> it of, is. Yeah, it's a cult of people feeling something towards a product or a company. And I think that's where really what a brand means. Ooh. <laughs> The reason I'm reacting this way is because this is a show about brand awareness. And mm. being human, sometimes we're even emotionally disconnected with another human being. What you're saying is a brand or a business has to have an emotional relationship with its audience or customer. Ooh, yes. That's, yes. You couldn't have said it any better. It's just that that's very challenging right it, it is it is have you found aj working with different brands um small and big that a lot of them haven't really put in the work of getting to their why or most of them have it all figured out i see there's a company that they really take care of their people and they're primarily about nature where Patagonia? they 
Patagonia. I think it was their uh, CEO or their head of HR had this had a TED talk or a talk somewhere, and he was saying that they have a fund to get people out of jail if you're fighting for for the environment and nature. Yeah, one of his jobs is checking everybody in the world or and trying to bail out people from jail if they have been put there because they were fighting for the whales somewhere or just fighting for the environment and they got into trouble with the local authorities. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, AJ, how big of a priority is developing a brand or branding for a business? I think it's the biggest. I think it's the biggest, most important priority. Unless you just want to make money and don't care about brand, which you can do. It's easy to fall into the trap of looking for the quick buck or what do you call that syndrome? Like a shiny object syndrome or something. Yeah. You know, we can true. make money, we can make money, then we try to do this. I see it in the space of what I belong to, which is apparel and um, t-shirts there are a lot of businesses locally who have not just locally but globally who try to get into the business of apparel and they get into that business because they feel like it's a good way to make money and without really thinking about the brand they would then scour the whole web for what's selling right now if that's selling therefore i must sell them the same designs sometimes stealing work the actual designs or tweaking designs so that you know i can sell it myself that's so sad. Uh, yeah, that is, that is basically business before brand. Okay, look, I agree. Business before brand, it could work. Mm -hmm. But if you're really looking at longevity, you have to put the brand first. Yes. Yes. And then the business side of it second. And I think for some of the businesses that did business before brand, if they figure it out midway, they can still pivot or start working and focusing on the brand and they're still able to cope. I'm yeah. seeing more and more of that now because even the billboards or the ads that you see, the messaging is becoming more clear and it's obviously speaking to someone very specific and they're seeking out their tribe. So I think yeah. we're evolving. I, I, <laughs> I think it can happen. Like taking a look at the Googles of this world when they first launched they're just really an ugly website with really terrible branding and brand identity like I said Google now is sort of transforming more into like a brand that people I guess have more affinity towards it really shows that they're pouring more money and importance towards building their Google brand, whatever it is. Super. To just conclude this whole thing, I think there is no better way to define a brand than how AJ defined it. Because <laughs> I couldn't have spoken and chosen a better speaker, a better guest than AJ Bimaruka. Or, sorry, the great AJ Bimaruka. <laughs> so, as new traditions are developed today, we're going to give AJ, 30 seconds to do a little bit of a plug for whatever he's launching, whatever he's up to, whatever he wants to talk about. AJ, 30 seconds, go. I just want to work with brands who are brave. And we want to, you know, push things, push boundaries, and be able to, you know, contribute to a bigger purpose, which is much needed right now in, the, in our community and in our world. I'm available as a designer, as a creative leader, as a design leader, or whether it's a small, you know, gig here or there to design a logo or whatnot. Yeah, I find me on my website. I guess we can place it somewhere. Or yeah. Follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, AJ Dimaruka. Let's do some brand D stuff. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Gang, I hope you had a great time listening to me and AJ talk about what a brand is. I hope this has prepared you and I hope you feel more ready to take on this challenge. And if you need to know more, reach out to AJ, talk to us. Plus, if you want episodes or specific topics for episodes, please hit us in the comments and click subscribe, hit the bell, smash the like button, and give us a follow so that we can keep populating your feed with stuff. Once again, this has been Tommy and AJ, and we out. Peace. See you on the next. See you guys. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs>